or so yeah I got up and I watched was watching it and I'm like hey this has no comments and no views something's wrong <laughs> oh oh well yeah it's up now it's all that matters morning guys so I'm not feeling the greatest today I'm kind of achy I think it was from doing the cleaning yesterday and being up so much yesterday because I only was working on like two to three hours sleep all day yesterday and I didn't take a nap so and I kind of feel like I got a sore throat so I feel I feel like I'm sounding a little hoarse but I don't know um I'm eating burritos for breakfast because there's no eggs oh. so anyhow Yes, Freckles is doing his morning back rub. <laughs> so. Yes, I'm laughing at you. Uh huh. Oh. Aww. <laughs> so anyway, I don't know what we got going on today, but um, I would like to try and work on our society six store. Ooh, yeah, I got a shelf to put up. Okay, so today's project for me is this shelf, which came down off the wall. It's your standard closet shelf. It really should hold the, the weight. I do not know why it came down. It, it's been up on the wall for about eight years. This is where it probably broke, right in that spot, and it came off the wall. I think that was the weak spot. And... Uh, Everything else seems to be okay. A lot of these just bent down, which means they still hung into the wall. It just came down because of that one spot, which I'm assuming probably our heaviest item was, and that was this box of uh, spray cans. So maybe I can find another place for this. So I do have more clips. I'm just going to move it over a little maybe put a couple up there and um, take these down and uh, bend them back where they're supposed to be I've got a few more that are uh, I can put up that shouldn't be too much problem all right so I'm just going to add some more of these holes around there's a there is insulation in this wall which is very strange because the rest of the house has no insulation but the garage does all right and I think I will put one more here All right, so it just takes these clips. They're little plastic clips and uh, with a hook on it for the shelf. It's got a nail that actually goes into the back and uh, it'll spread this out when it goes in. I had no issues with these before. And it's, they did not fail on this one, here's the one I actually took out of the wall. I'm just going to put it right back in. Um, but I think the, uh, there was too much weight here and it broke the wall. So I'm going to take a little nine, eight ounce hammer, put these back in. So 
I'm going to do something a little different for the uh, 45 degree supports. This is what's been holding it up so far. It's a little piece of split plastic. You push a nail through it and it opens up to hold it into the wall. Problem is it only opens it up a, maybe a quarter of an inch. But I have these tap set type uh, anchors. Put a regular screw in there. You screw that right into the wall and then you put the tap in there. So that'll hold it a little bit more secure than these. See how that works out. That way I can actually use the original holes because this will make a larger hole than the original. This thing is self-tapping. I just hope I don't hit a two by four, which I just did. And that makes for a really tight bond. Okay, and they do split, actually, when you put a screw into them. So it's not only screwed into the wall, it's gonna be well anchored. Screw goes into the anchor, splitting it apart. How's it going out here, babe? Well, just replacing. I'm replacing a lot of the anchors with the uh, the screwing type. So you're making it sturdier. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Feels like it's cooled off outside. Yeah. So it's still a little muggy. Yeah. See that? But I reinforced it quite a bit in the back, and I used a uh, different type of anchor over here. And you put new holes in that side and on the other yeah. side. Yeah. So that should be okay. Hi, everybody. I haven't been doing anything. I went back into bed and I was watching Face Off and it's only an hour show and when you cut out commercials it's even shorter than that but it's taken me like two hours to watch it because I kept falling asleep. So, um, I don't feel like making dinner tonight. Neither do I. I'm going to be working in here all day and I'm going to be tired. So. Maybe some. Maybe chicken and, and potato salad and stuff like that. Okay. So none of us have to cook. Okay. 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 But you're gonna run to the store, right? Yes, dear. Okay. Bye. Bye. Holy power strips, Batman! <laughs> Think we have enough? They don't sell well on the Craigslist, so. <laughs> I hate throwing stuff away. Well, you know, if we throw them away, we're going to need them for something. And I'll have to buy more. Yeah. So these are what failed, these little clips in the back. And I had one clip opposite each brace. So I had one, two, three, four clips on the back. Now I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of them. And what they were doing was they were bending down. And I think it was being pulled this way. Because right after Christmas, I moved all of my clamps up here and hung clamps on here. So I had maybe 60 pounds of clamps hanging on the front, pulling it forward. So I still have some over here, but not very small. I moved the large ones onto the wall over here. So I have to figure out some place else to put my clamps because I think that's putting a little too much weight on the end. 
Hey everybody, Val's not feeling good today, so we're not going to do our typical shout outs again. I did manage to get her to record her closing and her trivia question earlier today, which I'll put in at the end of here. But of course, I feel like I need to, uh, to do my trivia question as well, to make sure that we keep that going. And uh, a little bit of controversy again on this one. The question was about Leprechaun and the company that actually produced it. And that would have been Trimark Pictures, Trimark Studios. Um, yeah, somebody, I think it was um, the YouTube guy, 1985, pointed out that there was a, that they listed some five or six movies before Leprechaun, but Trimark was a distributor. It was not, did not actually produce the films themselves until uh, Leprechaun. So that was their first actual theatrical production uh, solely by Trimark, and. So, the people who got this one right was Terry Johnson, Greg Myers, and Bambi S. So, tonight's, I got an easy one for tonight. Um, since I was thinking, as usual, trying to, to get the holidays involved with the different horror films, since there always seems to be a horror film for every holiday. So, I was thinking Easter, and I thought Easter eggs, so what is the first thing that comes to my mind? Aliens. So the very first Alien, 1979, Ridley Scott starring Sigourney Weaver, who designed the creature and all of the sets in the uh, alien ship? That's my question. And now over to the valve. Hey everybody, I'm not feeling that good today, so I'm not going to be doing shout outs, but I will look at everybody's answers to my question from yesterday, probably tomorrow. My question for today is, if you could have one new skill, what would it be and why? If those questions are those answers down below. <laughs> and you are all part of our neighborhood community, each and every one of you out there. We love you all so very much. Thumbs up. Make sure to check out the Neighborhood Zoo, Paranormal Investigations with the Neighbors, P.I.N., Megan's Arts and Crafts, Megan Society 6 Store, and we will put a link to that in our comments. See y'all tomorrow. <laughs>